Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Today we're in Dirt 3 once again, trying to get a good race going on here. So I've, I've taken the level down a little bit now, so I'm actually decided to race this time and uh, just go for the intermediate assists. And uh, I'm doing a lot worse this time. Um, <laughs> and that makes sense. It makes a lot more sense because before I was doing the casual gaming and it is too, too easy. Uh, now this is a lot harder now, uh, which is good actually because what it allows me to do is actually enjoy the race just a bit more. There are some assists, but it's not as bad. Um, as you can see, I'm actually not uh, doing terrible. Well, that's not true. I am in doing terrible. I'm in eighth. So one of the funny things about this is the fact that uh, it's just like Project Cars. I'm able to ha I'm able to have that little line down there. Ooh, that shows me uh, where I'm supposed to be going and how fast I'm, I should be going around these areas, which is good because I have no idea. And half the time you can't see what you're doing. So it's good to have that little uh, guidance, I should say, uh, in this scenario. So it's kind of fun, actually. Um, I haven't played this game in a little while, but it's fun to drop into it and just try and race again. Uh, oh, ouch. Uh, and try to race again without uh, making too much of a mess of myself. Uh, but it's kind of fun. It's a... Uh, Get out of my way. Uh, it's kind of fun because uh, it's very different. Uh, I think I should, I need to adjust the, <laughs> I always need to adjust the controls. That's always the case, right? Whichever racing game you're ever playing, you always need to adjust the, <laughs> the controls so it's fine tuning. But the funny thing is, especially if you're not used to uh, the controls or you don't, you don't race very often, what actually happens is you find yourself and you're like, oh, what's the uh, handbrake or what's this or what's that? Um, that's what I find at least. It's the same thing for Farm Sim or like American Truck Sim or whatever it happens to be because you get into a situation where you're like you're trying to trying to maintain a, uh, a decent speed or a decent race in this context but you often find yourself in a situation where you're forgetting what's what. Uh, uh, fifth, sixth place. That's not terrible I guess, right? Could have been a lot worse. How many seconds? I was two seconds behind the other their Pete, other person. This was Rally Cross. It's a bit different than Rally. It's fun though. Definitely different. Is there a second race? I think there is a second race. We'll do a second race too then. Um, in the Rally Cross. This is a fun game. It's actually it's not it's arcadey. It's arcadey, but it's not uh, it's not so arcadey that I don't enjoy it. Um, sometimes what happens is you like I found with when I had it on casual style. It was way, way too arcadey. Oh, land rush with trucks. Oh, I don't think I've done this one before. Oh. Guess we better make sure I know uh, what the heck is supposed to be going on this time. All right, good to know. Good to know. One of the things I don't like about this game is they have like super long intros, and you can't, you can't, you can skip them eventually. But I guess this is the first time I've done it. Stadium truck, NX. Do we have Texado Racing, Vendazo Osiris NX Energy Drink? I don't. Know. Let's go with Texado because I have no idea what that is. Let's see how we do this time. So I'm not. Uh, I'm not making sure I get first place because I, I. You guys would obviously know I'd be rigging that if I got first place uh, in a race. Um, all right, that's fine. We'll just go ahead for this time. That's funny. One of the weird things about this is that you have to like. Uh, so I'll, here I'll show you the difficulty in assist. So I have the difficulty at intermediate, um, and that seems to be a good level for me right now. I'm not quite ready for advanced yet. Casual is just too easy on the casual side of things. But it's kind of fun. Uh, definitely, definitely, diff definitely different. Um, it's strange because when you come in here and you play on this versus like Project Cars where you're on a track, bonk, uh, where you're on a track, oh that's bad, well, I'm in 8th place now, uh, it's completely different, right? So stuff like that can happen, well that can actually happen in stuff like Project Cars as well. Uh, the funny thing is though is that it's not quite the same, uh, in Project Cars when it does happen it's because something's gone horribly hideously wrong and th wrong. in this game. It's not something that's gone ba <laughs> that wrong, it's just the fact that your driving's that bad. Uh, like my driving a little bit. Uh, if you've been following me for any, any length of time, you'll know how much of a terrible driver I can be sometimes. Like, even in Farm Sim sometimes, it'll be a little ridiculous, because I'll be like driving, and then I'll be like, 
I'll like run into something unintentionally and it just becomes a whole heap of ridiculousness. But obviously it's not too bad. If I'm able to catch up to them, it's not that bad. Uh, this is where I tipped last time. Don't tip here. There we go. Perfect. Um, it's not that bad, but it's a lot of fun. Um, I definitely feel like I should turn the, the sound of the engine up a little bit. Uh, make the turn. Uh, because it feels like if I <laughs> if I don't have that sound up really loud, it feels like I'm not racing at all. Um, that's the, the feeling I get at least. I hope you can't hear the steering wheel too much. And I feel like I'm talking like rapid speed right now because I'm racing. It's like when you listen to fast music and you end up driving a lot faster, right? All right, there we go. I'm like, uh, I don't know where the edge of that is. But it's the same sort of feeling because like uh, you have fast music, you end up driving faster in your car. Um, it's really strange, actually. Try it one time. Put it, put like, you know, classic, classical music on. Oh, no, not again. Uh, try with classical music like, you know, Tarkovsky or like, you know, Beethoven or something like that. And then try and put like Iron Maiden on it, Maiden on and see the difference. Um, just make sure you notice your speed because what happens is you'll, <laughs> you'll definitely find yourself putting your foot down just a little bit faster than you should be, uh, which I've definitely done by accident. Um, luckily, though, I've been pretty conscious about it because of the type of music we were listening to. So it's not so, so bad. Oh, he's only one second ahead of me. I, I picked up 0.7 of a, a second. Let's see if I can actually get past this guy. I think that's the finish line right there. Yes, it is. That's not bad, though. Fourth place, a lot better than the last time, if you do say so myself. Nice. Let's view the replay on this one. It's weird how you can't use a mouse. All right, so let's see that very first turn where I made that huge mistake. Here it is right here. We have that hill, and there's our Texado racing, and then I hit the hill, and I got too close to the edge, and I just tipped right over right there. I don't know how I managed to do it, but I managed to actually come in fourth come back from that, which is pretty ridiculous if you ask me. Anyways, folks, that'll be it for me for today. That's a little bit of Dirt 3. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't race very often, and I think it's quite obvious based on that very first turn that we made there. So, uh, my name's Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed Dirt 3, and if you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more racing. I'll catch you guys later.